Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 1.6, and today I wanted to take some of the patterns we put together to show you how to resample this into a song. So first thing we're going to want to do is, I guess, get on the page. As you see, I've, these are just some of the patterns that I built before. Nothing too exciting, but um, one thing, if you remember, the bus effects, when you turn on and off, will, if you turn your system off, the bus effects will be emptied out. And this, the orange is bus 1 as a refresher, green is bus 2, and white means that it is going out and bypassing your FX. So I do want to go into my EFX settings, and I want to change it to type B because I want everything that's on bus 1 just going to bus 1 and everything on bus 2 going to bus 2. Otherwise, you'd get... Uh, the the bus one would then go into bus two, and that, that could be a problem. So let's see. I want uh, probably I kind of want to have some compression. I think here be a little bit of noise, a little bit of wow and flutter on the vinyl sim here, and. Yeah, it sounds good. And then for maybe for the the green pads, move to bus two. Whoops, I'm gonna go back to bus one and move to bus two. I don't want scatter. We'll, move, we'll just go to cassette here. I don't want a ton of noise. Maybe a little bit of tape stop, just so it doesn't cut in all the time. The tone set right. And then as I said for the white ones because it's bypassing it I don't have to think about it but now I have the effects on so go to back to the pattern mode you hit resample and it's asking you what pad do you want to sample to none of them are flashing because we've used up all 16 pads on bank A so I'm just gonna go to B press uh, one and then it's asking where do we want to start I don't know, I'm kind of thinking maybe we'll start the drums. Now, as I said, it's going to queue up to the next one, so when you're ready, you can leave it to keep looping, or, you know, just hit the next pad you want to move to. This one, maybe I'll let it play two times. So, you know, just, as I said, just kind of keep moving through whatever you want. It's listening. And it'll just keep recording. And I, I usually try and make these matrices so you can kind of build in two different directions just to kind of keep it interesting. And I forget where I put my drop on this case where I took out the drops. I can't remember if it was 10 or 11, but we'll take it. Just letting some of these play a few times. And then sometimes it's like either just work your way backwards or you know kind of move around just to kind of keep things interesting. If you've got the uh, time and uh, all that, it's also worth using the knobs to modify the settings and everything. you're done just hit record it'll tell you recording's complete and then see bank b pad one this has everything that i just recorded so it will start from here and it'll play the whole way through if you decide you wanted to share this with somebody it's pretty easy just hold if you've got a sd card in the side uh, you can do shift hit pad 14 to get import export go export to sd card until you want to do a sample, you just hit the pad or pads that you want to export and then push down on your value knob. And away you've gone. You now should have a sample on your SD card that you can go import wherever you'd like to on your computer or whatever. Anyway, hope that helped you guys out and catch up with you later. Bye-bye.